All right, so I'm currently recording. Let's go over here and share my screen. Good morning, Ms. Carter. All right. Um, let's go to present now. And let me share my entire screen. All right, so one of the assignments that a bunch of you guys have not done, but I really want you to do, is... If you come over here, some of you guys may have done this and just not turned it in. All right. Um, come down here to SAE development. And maybe I just didn't relay this very well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new assignment for you to have filled out for me tomorrow. All right. Um, and so you're going to need to walk through these steps. I'm going to try to go slow. So if you want to do some of this with me at the same exact time, you can. Some of you guys already have most of this done. But um, let's go ahead and do that real quick, all right? Um, when you open this up, first things first, you need to come over here. If you have not used Cami before, <clears throat> I know some of you guys were having a hard time with the test, and that's because you haven't done any of the assignments where we use Cami. So if you have not used Cami on the particular computer that you were on, you need to download the extension for it to function. And I know this is a repeat for some of you guys that have been doing all your work like you're supposed to. But for you guys that it's not too late to catch up. All right. So if you have not followed these steps yet, you need to go ahead and do this now. All right. So step one, click this extension. All right. Open that up. All right. That's going to walk you through adding the Kami extension to Chrome. Okay. If you're not using Google Chrome on your Chromebook for some unknown reason, um, start using Chrome, okay? All right, so add this to Chrome. I've already done it. Well, I've done it on my laptop. I may or may not have done it on this computer. All right, so you click Add Extension. All right, so we're going to let that do its thing. Why is doing its thing? All right, those are the steps. Now, when you have Cami as an extension, when you come down to this assignment, you're not going to turn it in here. I'm going to be making a whole other assignment for you, okay? You're going to open this up. For you folks that have already filled this out, you will open up your own, okay? Annotate with Cami. Let me go back and do that one more time. Just a little bit slower for you. Click right here. Once you have the extension downloaded, you should be able to click Annotate with Cami. I know I've showed all you guys this, but I'm showing you again. You're welcome, my friend. All right. Um, it's going to open it up. Would I like to turn on sync? Heck no, I wouldn't. All right. So my screen is, may look slightly different, but it should be pretty darn close. All right. Now, this is the document. You guys are already supposed to have all this filled out. If you haven't, don't worry. You'll have this afternoon until 10 o'clock tomorrow to do it. All right. But you're supposed to have this done weeks ago. So once again, you guys know how to do this, but just showing you for a quick recap. Once you have this open with Cami, click on text box. You click anywhere and it gives you a place to type. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. There's no reason that this should not work if you have the extension downloaded. Now, some issues you may run into, you know, what if it won't let me make an extra copy, Mr. Gross? Well, the longest way to do it, and some of you guys have found a shortcut that I haven't found yet to make a copy, but the long way to do this, and if nothing else works, Come over here, all right? You're going to annotate with Cami. We already opened that up, right? Or you can open it up under Doc Hub and do the same thing. But you come over here, and you're going to click Print. All right? If you've already done annotations, you're going to do it with the annotations. If you have not done any writing on the document, do it without, okay? So this takes a little bit of a second. You guys know how slow my desktop is. Once this comes up and it's ready to go, I'll show you what to do. Let's Hopefully to 
Speedy Gonzalez. Here we go. This is your last resort if you can't figure out how to make a copy the regular way. Come over here. Now this is open up in the print window. Okay. You're going to do this little drop down bar and click save as a PDF. All right. Save as a PDF. Once you click that, it's going to save a copy to your computer, to your downloads in your computer. Okay. Now, at this point, you have your very own copy. Okay. Copy of SAE example. All right. So I'm going to put this right on my desktop. I'm going to save it right to the desktop. For you guys, that should be pretty easy to find because you should have a whole bunch of stuff saving on your desktop. But if you do, that's fine too. I'm going to save it, okay? Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Now, you may have to do a couple extra steps um, that way. You may have to um, save it to Google Drive. But you can also do that directly here. Click save. All right. Um, you can download it. Here's That's another process. You can download it straight to your computer. All right. Once again, I told you the saving as a PDF is a last resort. You can download it. You can, um, if you want to open this file. All right. So I just saved that to my desktop, right? I want to open a new file. Let's go to my computer. All right. And I've got a ton of things on my desktop. So this may be hard to find. Let's do a quick scroll. Copy of SAE. Okay. All right. Now it's opening up a new document, AKA the document that I just saved as a PDF. So now this copy is just your copy. You saved it to your computer and you opened it up in Cami. Nobody owns this document, but you. All right. So if we go to take a test and I want you to do short answer with Cami and well, Mr. Gross, it won't let me make a copy. Mr. Gross, it won't me, let me edit it. We'll save it. You can download it to your computer. Do the same exact thing. Just click um, download, and you can download it directly to your computer. All right? And that will give you your own personal copy of whatever we're working on. Okay? You can download it straight to Google Drive. All right? Begin export. Um, so that is how you make copies of things. All right, that's the long way, but that is the fail-safe way that's going to work every single time. All right, um, give me, a, you guys, give me a second. I'm going to stop my screen recording, and we'll go back and um, I'll show you guys what you need to do with this tomorrow. Okay, what's going to be your assignment for tomorrow?